Important aspects of transport in plants. Number 1. Directionality of transport. Transport in plants can be unidirectional or multidirectional, depending on the type of molecule being transported. Water and minerals in the xylem move unidirectionally from roots to stems, while organic compounds and minerals exhibit multidirectional transport. Number 2. Source sink dynamics, photosynthetic leaves serve as the primary source of organic compounds, which are then distributed to various parts of the plant, including storage organs. Later, these stored compounds are re-exported as needed. This dynamic movement ensures that all parts of the plant receive essential nutrients and energy. Number 3. Nutrient uptake and redistribution, mineral nutrients are absorbed by roots and transported upward to stems, leaves, and growing regions. During senescence or other physiological processes, nutrients may be withdrawn from certain parts and redirected to active growing areas. Number 4. Hormonal transport. Plant hormones, or growth regulators, are transported in small quantities but play crucial roles in regulating growth, development, and responses to environmental stimuli. Their transport can be polarized or unidirectional, originating from synthesis sites to target tissues. Number 5. Complexity and orderliness. Despite the complexity of the transport system in flowering plants, there is often a high degree of orderliness in the movement of compounds. Each organ plays a specific role in receiving and distributing substances, contributing to the overall health and growth of the plant. Understanding these processes is essential for studying plant physiology and optimizing agricultural practices. Thank you for watching. Share, like, and subscribe for more videos.